Welcome everybody to the Gecko Pod episode 51. It's going to be a mini, mini series, a mini episode today. Uh, we really have Phantom, no Phantom. I'm Harry at Zero's Geckos. AJ, AJ the Reptiles co hosting. We have friends Anthony and Jess at Little Monsters. Hey, what's up? They're going to talk about Phantom, the genetics, the traits. We're going to talk about. Uh, things and ways to identify phantoms since we know a lot of uh, people, myself included, misidentify phantoms pretty often. <laughs> mm. um, and so this will be a good episode. Uh, we are a podcast for the gecko community where we talk about the hobby and business of breeding geckos. And so thank you guys for hanging out with us. We appreciate you all. And um, yeah, how are you guys doing? You guys ready to talk about phantoms? Yeah, absolutely. Let's jump into it. Yeah. Um, besides phantoms, what are you guys think? What do you guys think is the most misidentified or confused? Uh, Cappuccino is pretty hard to identify sometimes. If you mix it with hide pattern, like white pattern, mix a lot of yellow. Yeah, it's crab and crab crabs too. Yeah. Crabs, yeah. yeah. So I see a lot of. Yeah, I see a lot of lily whites. I see a lot of fraps being sold that are not fraps. They're Willy Whites out of frap producing pairings, but they're not fraps. Oh, that's interesting. I see a lot of those right now. That and yeah. then all the, I feel like all the like tiger combos right now too. Like, is this a tiger? Is it a brindle? Is it a chevron? Is it a, you know, it's like, yeah. Yeah. Is I it a, all, like, is it a, very- Phantom is a flex. <laughs> you're not genes, right? People are describing the characteristic of what it looks like yeah. other than the zoom itself. Yeah. So some people think that's a chevron. Some people think it's not a chevron. Stuff like that, right? Like, oh, that's yeah. not tinery enough, or it doesn't have enough dalmatian spot to qualify as a dalmatian. It's more of a harlot. It's just like, well, it has dalmatian spots. Yeah. I think this was really interesting. Or topic. pointing out the tiger and calling it a tiger, but tiger isn't the primary characteristic of the animal. Yeah. Like yeah. every yeah. every harlequin I, is a tiger. I've, I've done that plenty of times <laughs> myself. Like I, I, yeah, you know, like several months back, AJ and Brian had to correct me on some of the tigering. I was like, is this tiger or not? And so I got, and it's like yes, but. Yeah, it's one of those tiger, things, it? like but it's not a. Uh, he, he like he'd send a picture of like a triple X and be like. So this is a tiger, and I'm like, yes, but it's not what people <laughs> describe. Like a tiger is typically a phantom. Well, yeah, yeah. Some of them can be, some of them not. So much, right? It just depends. On typically, when fa- when tigers, air quotes, tigers are sold, it's a phantom. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, if, yeah. it's the, if it's the primary trait. Yeah, I mean, we have the we have the saber tooth animals that we sell. Yeah, and we have phantom and non phantom versions. So I usually tell people, and they're so similar, they're they're really hard to discern. You'll see like that difference in the dorsum. Mm. Um, and like contrast, the there. contrast, contrast with yeah. the biggest um, and striping. Yeah. Do you guys and have uh, examples of that later. as we kind of pull up pictures? You guys have an example? Uh, yeah, I think I do. I got a couple okay. of them somewhere. Full of them. Cool. So we got uh, we have some photos of example animals that were submitted to us. Yep. Do so. Yeah, through, through Discord, DMs. Instagram. I thought something that would be good to do, Harry, before we start, is just to pull up the description of Phantom as far yes. as okay, let me how it actually um, is being described before we look at animals uh, and judge them based on those criteria. So okay, cool. Yeah, let's uh, pull up at the end. Jess's. Uh, oh, where did it go? Okay, here it goes. Okay. No. Do you guys want to give us the synopsis? Um, give us the TLDR. <laughs> yeah, the TLDR. I mean, for the most part, it obviously behaves recessively. Um, I think there's quite a bit con- of consensus on that now in the hobby. A lot of people are, are looking at it and then breeding it, and those who are breeding it are really looking at the results, and then they're just like, oh, yeah, okay, that seems to yeah. behave recessively. Um, Can I play devil's advocate on that? Yeah, absolutely. So there's been, I saw a couple posts recently basically trying to debunk that phantom is recessive due to um, phantom pairing, a phantom pairing 
producing a non-phantom animal. And I, I think the logic that they had behind it was that it was, um, it was basically, they're basically saying that it's not a Mendelian genetic that is at play, but more of a, what, what would the proper term be? I think they were saying non-Mendelian because if you bring two phantoms together and the post was that they didn't produce a phantom from it. Yeah. yeah. I did yeah. see one of those posts. Um, I yeah. I'd have seen both of them. One of them that I didn't see. One of them was uh, a leap post. Yeah, a few days later, they were like, oh, no, we mixed up the egg. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which I thought that one was great because it brought out a lot of people that, like, were, were commenting on their experiences with Phantom or just how they observe it. Yeah. Um, and then they called me out saying, well, you said it was a Phantom. And I was like, I agree. I still think it is a Phantom. Yeah. But if it isn't a Phantom, these are the characteristics that I would say maybe be throwing off the result where I would say initially that it's a Phantom. And then three days later, or three or four days later, I think they, were, they posted that, oh, they actually hatched the correct animal because there were two tigered parents. And then they... Mm -hmm. And the, the I had one question was a pinstripe. Um, so yeah, I thought I thought that was a really, really cool post actually, because got to like yeah, look at the dichotomy of the of the, of the hobby to see what people think. Yeah. And I mean how I guess how do you at what point do we say because obviously I I believe it's recessive based on all the breeding I've done too. I've probably made two or three hundred phantom animals this year from Phantom to phantom pairings. I've made zero non phantom animals out of those pairings and have never in my years, like I've never bred two super dolls together, phantom super dolls, and made a patterned animal. In right. 20 years of breeding phantom animals, I've never seen it. Um, but I guess, you know, at what point do we say, okay, that's definitive proof? Or when you breed a visual to a hat and you're getting. 50% visual, mm -hmm. you know, you do the statistics and you see that play out. When do you just well, say, yep. That play out well. um, yeah. But you bring up a really good point because you said I bring two Dalmatians together, but you didn't say you bring two Dalmatian phantoms. I think I correct myself, but yeah. You did, you did. But what I'm saying is I think a lot of people identify the main characteristic of the animal yeah. and don't tie it in the genetics. So yeah. If you bring two Dalmatians together, Super Dows, for example, and you, you don't necessarily always want to say that you also hatch Phantom Super Dows, right? Like things yeah. like that. I think, I think most people, it's kind of like tigers. Like there's almost like oh, yeah. an unspoken rule that like a tiger or a, say a charcoal or any of those things, like those animals that are associated with being a phantom. It's, mm -hmm. but maybe the more, the more healthy way to do that. I mean, it would start to be like, oh, this is a, this is a phantom charcoal Dalmatian tiger. <laughs> it's like, okay. Either that or just people understand that when you yeah. use a charcoal name or descriptor that you're actually talking about a phantom. So we can still That's use the stack of characters. The name yeah. of it, right? Like a Frappuccino, we were young as a Cappuccino and a Lily. Yeah. Right? So yeah. things like that, I think, I think work well. But yeah. yeah, the brief of this is, it is a recessive mutation. You breed two phantoms together, or what we usually call visuals, then you're going to get 100% of that. Uh, you breed a hat to hat, you've got 25, 50, and 25% odds. And a visual to a hat, you're going to get 50%. Um, that seems to work out basically over the last, uh, since 2005, when I had my first one. So, uh, mm. so far, the rule hasn't broken itself. But we do have some wildly difficult ones to identify. And it's stabbed so many generations of different genes into them. What are what are I some mean, of the what are some of the traits that kind of hide or make the phantom difficult to pinpoint? Uh, Dalmatian, the one of them, people will get sidetracked. Yeah. Um, and then there is if you have an animal that's got real strong pinstriping in it and lateral larkings as well, like that harlequin, those 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 white little plumes of snow you yeah. know, coming up white and white then, pattern or snowflake yeah. yeah you add that into an animal that let's say has tangerine as well uh or like a hyper tangerine then then you start getting into the territory where you've stacked so many different traits into the animal 
that phantom has a hard time completely suppressing the pattern because all it's trying to technically do is make a unicolor animal mm. yeah and that one like you've got a yellow base in that one right there as well with red and laterals and pinstriping yeah, yeah. and it's so, hyper time i mean so the general descriptor is that basically phantom is suppressing the um, white pattern or orange pattern the flame which is the standard one of the standard wild types that that like flame dorsal pattern on animals and making a unicolored animal yeah that's trying to make ge ge generally obviously yeah. there's traits that interact that kind of mess with that but that's generally what's happening okay cool all right, Harry, do we want to start with looking at some examples yeah. here? <clears throat> Quick question. Maybe we'll just talk. Is it fair to call the phantom a patternless? I know it's trying to make it patternless, but because we have so many things stacked at it, that gives it a little bit of pattern. I mean, mm -hmm. I think that would be confusing to people. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for a few years, I actually was hoping that there was a genetic mutation that also made them patternless, to be honest. Um, but I think I wrote that somewhere along the way that. Um, it turned out that Phantom was just the one gene that was acting on all of them, just kind of taking it all over. But, Do you uh, consider being bi total pattern? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, do you guys consider bi color being pattern? Is that pattern? Bi, bi color? Mm -hmm. I mean, I would say so. Because I, I, I mean, to me, that's still a Phantom animal. It is, yeah. So. So is a it because because I I want to throw out the other question is is there actually any animal that is actually patternless no and not white animal? Um, I mean there are actually there I mean I have seen animals I haven't seen them in a while but I know I've seen animals that have I would say like ninety nine percent no pattern and are not bicolor. So basically, like unicolor, the la the the dorsal and the rest of the animal are the same color. There's no visual type like tiger present, other than maybe you know if you want to. I'm not going to count like, um, like speckling, right. but like like very minor maybe. But you know, appear yeah, on to be like a unicolor animal with no visible, discernible pattern. Yeah, yeah. I, I have what's it. usually the base color. I find it really hard to to see animals that don't like they'll either fire up or fire down at some point, and oh, you'll have pattern. just a hanger of a, a, like yeah. or something. Yeah. I don't think it's, that so I don't think it's possible to have zero, but yeah, I, I think there I think there's some level of tiger in everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna always affect it in some way. So, like you've described that as being a fixed trait, right? Something that is like yeah. it's just in the animals like the spots on a leopard gecko or the black markings on a ball python yeah it's just it's fixed it's something that in the amount the amount of it can be changed but you the can't it, can you can't get rid of it right, right. at like least if you're a bunch of normal ball pythons you can make all sorts of funky looking pattern ones you get, usually you start off with all the alien hands right which is yeah like one of the best descriptors but you know we've even had normals that have that no, come I, out with no alien yeah. hands whatsoever. There's no genetic mutation behind it at all. Mm. So interesting. Yeah, Harry, what's your experience been so far? I guess coming coming into the hobby, being newer, was Phantom something that was confusing to you? Oh yeah. Um, is it still confusing? And if so, what is confusing about it? Yeah, yeah. I think the, I think it's confusing when. The term patternless initially confused me. Like when we say like phantom is a patternless animal. And then I look at all these animals and when I come, when it came into the hobby, I'm like, there's pattern on everything. <laughs> <laughs> there's like, there's, well, the pattern, there's the tiger. Really hard to... Yeah. So, and then, oh, so, and then the yeah. phantom tiger is like, it's like, uh, those things are associated together. And that, I mean, I think it's maybe the kind of the verbiage and how we describe things kind of throws me off. Um, a lot of things that are difficult are kind of uh, not understanding until you guys told me that it's like the dorsal and, and the lats are trying to be a unicolor. And when it's not, then it's not a phantom, right? Um, yeah. 
And so it took me a while to figure that out. And so even like when we were a couple of weeks ago, when we were chatting, uh, we we're together and chatting in North Carolina. And, um, you know, at this point I can tell phantoms, uh, a majority of the time, but there are still certain times that I can't tell. So Brian was showing me this one animal. I was like, I, I don't know if the phantom or not. He's like, bro. <laughs> so I think, I think I'm, I'm definitely still learning what a phantom is, you know? And it's even as people kind of submit pictures and say like, oh, this is a phantom for sure. I'm like, that's not a phantom. <laughs> But I understand why they think that because I thought that as well before. Um, yeah. And so I think. I mean, I, we still hash animals that sometimes when they come out of the egg, we're like, oh, that's phantom. And then, you know, it develops in like. What's throwing me off right now is some of these, um, some of these phantom frappuccinos. They hatch out, they hatch out with, I mean, they hatch out with cream, like 75% up their back. And you're like, what the heck is that? You know? Yeah, yeah. And then you give them a couple of sheds and it's like, it is a phantom, you know? Yeah. But, but they're tricky because the way Lily White and Cap interact yeah. and push White up the back. Yeah, it throws it uh, off. It's it's almost like it's it can like halfway defeat Phantom, but it can it's not all the way, but it can it yeah. it tries, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of animals out there that look like really strong combos and they push back the phantom so hard, but then there's always some type of a hint, like looking at the door sum or the head stamp or darkening on the neck and stuff like that. Like little tiny hints that it's still obviously recessively and it's still recessive and it's still there, especially when you produce it out of animals that don't show any hints of phantom at all. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, so yeah, the main thing is just the trait interactions, other trait interactions um, on the Phantom that kind of throw things off. Yeah. Uh, and so, um, you guys want to see some pictures? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me pull up some pictures here. And then we can ID, if, as we go, we can ID like other traits that are going on in animals that maybe would make them confusing to folks. Because I think what we had prompted people is like, send us your phantoms that are confusing to you, right? Or mm. animals that are confusing to you, whether they are a phantom or they're not. Yeah. So, yeah, so not everyone. So again, this isn't to, um, I put their names down too. So it's not it's not to make people feel bad. It's just that a lot of times we misidentify stuff too. And so we're all just kind of learning together. So yeah. um, I, won't, I won't say whether they said it's phantom or not. I'm just going to show what they submitted. Okay. And then we can talk about it and... Um, see what things are so um as we kind of go through these like what makes it a phantom and if it's not a phantom why um some different markers on this so this animal is the same animal and i think this fired down version it's a red it's a red lily white red lily white or red phantom blue (laughs) yeah so this one red that is a phantom how was it i didn't know if we were giving it away (laughs) i'm like when do we want to say it's phantom or not well this one's obvious this one's clear yeah from the life yeah so something interesting when you look at the when you look at the hashling photo on a lot of these red lily whites they'll have cream towards the base of their tail in their dorsal yeah um and that cream i mean i have a couple animals that make it almost almost to the head to here, huh? Um, yeah. But on those phantom, you will see there will still be a lot of negative space and holes where the white does not overtake the phantom. There will be white present up the back, but it will be kind of like holes and speckly Speck- down the back. So, yeah. so, I mean, as you talk about that, let me pull. Uh, we got one from Maris Morse that is a good example of that. Is this one right here? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a good example. Oh, this is a phantom. Phantom. This is to talk about. So I yeah. describe phantom as a melanin adding mutation. Yeah. So the reason I do that is because, um, and I'm trying to make a pretty model of a chromatophore in order to like get this kind of like idea across. But white isn't a color that's being added into the end. It's just the absence of melanin and the absence of xanthophores. So yellow and orange and red pigmentation. So if you take it all out, you get white. Then you're with white, all 100% of white reflecting back at you. So that's interesting. The reason I describe it as a melanin adding gene is because you can see like right around the neck area, 
Yeah. And all the white is actually going away because we're adding on and back in. So the only thing that I know of in the chromatophore that can add coloration back into the animal is going to be melanin. Mm. I've noticed this. I've noticed this a lot, Anthony. I think I've sent you pictures of some of. I'm making some some phantom lily whites that have so much of this weird dark coloration running down their backs, and I don't mm-hmm. see it in the non lily white non lily white animals, but in the lily yep. white phantom yellows, it's super strong and apparent. Um, just like, do you remember that animal? I don't know who owns it. There's that one that's almost got like these grayish purple bars on it. It's a yellow phantom. Li- it's a yellow phantom lily. I've seen it posted a handful of places, but they can have some, yeah, very strange markings on them. Yeah, stuff the that, dark that, that don't exist on any other animals. Yeah, the dark that I see on like the neck and going down the back. I yeah, only see that in phantom when phantoms present. But you can still make animals without that dark and it'll be still a phantom and it'll be very clean, but without any of that dark pigment in those areas. It's what exactly is causing that? I'm not 100% sure. I'm not Do you sure think if it's, it's like the presence gene. of another gene or the absence absence of another gene? I don't 100% know. I make a lot of them because I it's one of my favorite characteristics and it's like embedded in our punks lines. So, yeah. uh, because I think it looks really good with uh, really really bright orange. Is um, this what AC is this what AC is trying to market as um, margin? I think that's what it is that he's saying. Yeah. Okay. That that interaction is what he's trying to say is a, a separate gene that he's yeah yeah consult. I mean, if, if it's a separate gene that only comes along with phantom. It would be like super yeah. stripe and empty back. It would you be have a, have a that, but yeah. proving that out as a separate gene rather than assuming it is because of what it looks like is epistasis is a very very long process. Yeah, it's I've only fun. I've only seen it in an interaction with Phantom personally. But. Yeah, I mean, just for the super stripe and empty back thing, it took me I don't know, like nine years. It was forever long. Yeah, so. Yeah. And, and it wasn't until I felt confident by getting like everybody's results that contributed to that for, for that part of the document, like that I felt even confident saying just like this is epistatic. Yeah, just because it was there was yeah, it was a lot of data that you need yeah. to go through and come through and percentages and make sure everything works out. And, yeah. So if it is another gene, which it very well could be, um, yeah. how to control it and its inheritance, I'm not 100 percent sure. Of. Okay. Harry, take, us, take us back up. Okay. Bad, though, to, to be honest. <laughs> that animal is awesome. I like that animal. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Thanks to the chills and the... I have something just like this, but without that black dark margin, basically. Right here. It's red, though. Yeah, it's red. The margin is red. The girl. The girl. Yeah. Mayfoam. Yeah. It's because it's like orangey red. Then the, it's the so darkening cool. on the neck is that Probably. reddish color. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, All right. Yeah. This one's red you also have that the margin changes color. The dark. All right. Um, up up next, Crested Crested Kingdom sent us this animal here, and this is all the same animal. Uh, not that one, but these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. What do you say? Yeah. This one. This one's a fat tone. Yep. Yeah. Just because I it's. Back uh, in the day, we used to call them olive before olive. we knew what. Oh, yeah. Before we knew what Phantom was, yeah, the fire called um, <laughs> the fire down, fire down, looks olive. I think what you're seeing here that could be confusing is the amount of tiger mm. that is breaking the base color and making it appear, yeah, like, like the tiger stripe pattern is actually the base color of the animal. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's I, basically I looking like it's inverting it. Mm-hmm. And that it's not a phantom. Yeah, I see. What that's saying. what I see. I don't know, but yeah, that's what I think. That would confuse people. I mean, even phantoms have a good tail markers as well. The tails are pretty dark, usually spotted. They'll sometimes have lines similar to like the cappuccino as well. 
Yeah, I still need to look. At, I need to look at tails closer. That is not something that I look super heavily at. Tail markers, I think, are really helpful in my opinion because it's mm. one of those looks that's usually really consistent amongst the normal animals. And then as soon as you start adding genes, uh, you can really tell change quite quick. Yeah, I never thought of tails, that's especially the shape of the so like that roll area that peaks up that little widow's peak area that's like yeah. right above the middle part of the tail okay. that changes a lot as well uh, so all fat so this is uh so all phantoms have kind of this marker here no that would be darker yeah darker darker, darker okay i got you okay um jr exotics just hurt she sent this one in i think these are on well, these are Maybe one is a hatchling baby. baby. Yeah, I forget what, what she said, but um, mm. thoughts on this one? Yep. Phantom. phantom. Yep, that's a phantom. I think the thing that could be maybe tricky is highlighted pinstripe scales, mm. uh-huh. which is not off limits for phantoms. Yeah. So like we've seen... Pain... You can really see a difference when you see the hatchlings, right? Like if you compare this to one of the siblings that isn't phantom... And then it becomes very obvious, like it's a light switch turned on and off. Yeah. But the the hatchling pictures below, if you if you go down, I think that's what is showing here. It looks it appears to be a red phantom and a red phantom lily white. Mm-hmm. That's what it looks like from what I can see in the photo. Yeah. So is yeah. that the animal on the right? In that, I assume that's what that is. That I do that looks like it. And striping. Yeah, it looks like that's the animal. Similar the right dots. Side. Yeah. It appears to be, yeah. Um, so, so you guys are looking at kind of the the smaller areas where you can see that it's the same color as it's uh, the rest of the body. Is that right? Yeah. Um, Usually the base. Yeah. yeah. And then, if this is whatever this top, um, what's that? Right, whatever these top, uh, this top coloration is. What is that? Like, where is that? The phantom. Mm-hmm. Like the melanin. That's basically supposed to be white. Yeah. Phantoms. Got it. Got it. Yeah. And that's just in that white. You know, the, get that silvery color, that brownish color. Harry, at some point you should pull up, um, you should pull up Justin's IG and show the, yeah, show the red phantoms. Uh, those are confusing and I'll have Anthony give his opinion on it, but. Those animals are interesting because they have complete pinstripe uh, all the way from head to to tail, and yet they're phantoms. So I think we see some pretty interesting animals. Even when we were talking to AC, and he was showing animals that were super empties that were not phantoms that look pretty darn close to phantoms. Hmm. When you have so much of that pattern wiped out. Yeah, these animals are very interesting. Or they're still unicolor. That's so photos, photos so small. It was <laughs> tiny. Yeah. yeah, I can see it. That's but isn't that isn't really that an bad. interesting oh, animal? Yeah. Nearly the eyes. Well oh. done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Animal. So would you say that has presence of empty back that is Oh, that is like, what if it's genes? What if it's phantom and super empty back? Or what if it's just super empty back and a really, really nice red? I don't believe it's... I think it is phantom because yeah. um, I've seen siblings and I've never seen that. They're all phantoms. Does he have super empty backs from that pairing? Not that I've seen. But I don't know if he's done outcrosses. Gotcha. Red phantom lily. Yeah, that's more indicative of it where it stops it right there by the neck here. Yeah, like up near the neck. So the fact that that one, that those ones are able to push all the way up, like even that you can see those are non lily off. I mean, yeah, those are awesome. I mean, I produce animals all the time that are phantom and I sometimes have a hard time with it. There's animals in my collection that I still have to try to prove out whether or not they're phantom and I produce them because most of the time I produce, I breed uh phantom phantoms. Cause I want to see the phenotype spread. 
Yeah. So that's cool. Sorry, I mean, I'm taking down a, a rabbit hole yeah. here and here. <laughs> I'm gonna start looking at puppies. <laughs> Harry gets on Instagram rabbit holes and we can't get him oh back. My gosh. I mean yeah, disappearing. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Hold on, let me pull it. Um Okay, keep talking. Sorry, let me fix her. No, that was a good one. I don't, I don't know. I think it's a phantom initially. Yeah. I'm pretty but, I'm pretty confident I mean, it's a phantom, but I just wonder what uh, is adding to it. Empty max, right? I mean what? Just perfect empty max where they're yeah. absolutely black and the pinning goes all the way up. But their head color head color though. Well the, the head, head color matches the base for a black one. Right? Potentially. Okay. It just all you have to do, imagine imagine your nicest empty back, right? And then just swap the base color for red. I still think I'd know. A lot of times, my a lot of times my my empty backs. A lot of my empty backs have, even though they're dark base, they have either a yellow or a red, or sorry, yellow or an orange head. At least mine. I don't know about. You know who looks like that spice yellow? No. Pushing doing food. Oh yeah. That one we've concluded as a phantom as well, actually. <laughs> okay, we have a yellow version of this. I forgot okay. about that. What are we calling? Pushing daisies, right? Yeah. That's and then the that is a girl. And then the yeah, okay. lily that we just got. Yeah. The lemon one has the pinning. Yeah. Really, fairly hot, too. Can I have a picture of her? Actually. All right. What's and the next one, Harry? We have all the time. Pull up your pictures, but uh, hey, let's keep going. Uh, CK Critters, yes. just this picture here. Thoughts on this one? And Phantom. Phantom. It is a little. Uh, it's a little interesting because the dorsal is slightly lighter. Yeah. Than the base. Yeah, but you can see uh, kind of peek through right here. Uh, yeah, that animal's probably had empty or super striped too. Are you I can't see. From, I can't see from this. Can you see this one? Hold on. Let me pull you up. Uh, that one. Oh yeah, that one's cool. Is that yeah. a lily or no? That's a lily. Yeah, yeah I think it's cool. All right. She's a little hard for me to identify sometimes as well. I don't think that's a phantom. No, well, could be. It could be. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, my money's but on it. I think she's a phantom lily just because yeah, of the, of the, the dorsum. Head, the dorsum and everything. It's very solid in color, though the animal. Because if it yeah. wasn't a phantom, what would make it yellow if it's a lily? Like what yeah. happened to the white? That's true. The lily wood should overtake all that area. Plus, we've seen some lily head empty backs. I mean, I have some, and they don't white. Yeah, let me let me, let me screen share uh, a thing really quick. Uh, look at this animal, Harry. Can you see this animal? Where yet? Ah, oh, one second. If you send it to me, I can, I can pull it up. I should have it up. See this animal? Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Pull it up there. So, <clears throat> I've made a bunch of animals like this where they almost look unicolor. Yeah, I mean that is very unicolor. I don't know if that's a phantom. But I can it's tell. not. It's not a phantom. Yeah. Okay. This animal is fired down in this photo, but just to show like how how similar mm -hmm. you can get, how similar you can yep. get base color. Pretty interesting. That animal, you know, also similar. So these are all fired down. Um, yeah. those two were. But yeah, just like to give an idea of like you can get base colors that are pretty similar, but they're not phantoms. Uh, mm, none of those are phantoms, but the structure on that one, big old floppy head. <laughs> yeah, but it's very interesting when you get when you get the tricky ones. It's like, what is this thing? Yeah, I agree. I mean, the 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 tricky ones are always going to be really hard. I think that's where the hobby just needs to like, if you're in, if in doubt, just breed it out, kind of thing. Mm. Sounds kind of cool, but or get the, get consensus of. Get, Five big, you know, big, bigger and uh, more experienced, maybe not bigger, but more experienced breeders. 
the uh, ask Anthony and Jess LM LM reptiles. <laughs> <laughs> send uh, send yeah send send uh, who's geckos a message. He'll help you out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's. He's just that. I agree. He's gonna love them. Uh, message uh, him. Uh, message him. All of them. He'll help. Yeah. This one's from Alexis. Ag geckos. This one's Phantom Tiger. Yeah. So cool. Very cool ports on this one. White white pattern battling through. It's awesome. Yep. Fired down. Yeah. Obviously. The port holes are the very phantom. Yeah. Trait. That was a very cool. Yeah. Those port holes on phantoms for sure. I love that. It's pretty common. Yeah. Phantom eye. Phantom eye. Yeah. Is that what it's called in Crested? Mm, I don't know. That's my. That's what they call it in Gargs. I don't know what they call it. That's what they call it in yeah. Gargs. But Gargs, <laughs> like, it's absolutely a thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Crested Gar- sometimes the injury. So. Yeah. All uh, right. John. Jesse, oh, and Jesse and John, they're from NC. We met them at Gabby's. At yeah, the thing. Um, they sent this one in. Thoughts on yep. this? Phantom. They cool. Their raised their raised scales, scales are cool. Yellow, neon yellow port. Yeah, I like that. Yes, it's a phantom. Yes, it's got some other cool stuff though. Like structurally, the the scalation is really cool. Yeah, yeah, for each trait or whatever. Oh, you yeah. <laughs> What is this one from you? Is that no. Noel? It's from no. Noel. Maybe Noel. I don't know. Nah, nah, um, not me. <laughs> Gala, linear lizards. She turned, uh, dropped this one in. This one's off this, right? I mean, the thing, the thing that I would say makes it maybe not, the thing that makes it maybe not super obvious is if I was going to guess that animal is older. Ah, uh, okay. So it's, uh, and they can they can look they can trick you they can look kind of weird when they get older. Yeah, phantoms pull out a lot of color as they continue to age, for sure. Oh, yeah, I would I would fun. say phantom. Yeah, but... yeah, they can. I mean, I've seen so many people get confused with animals that are labeled as lavender and end up being actually genetically red or yellow mm. because of the fading. Because yeah. they're older. Yeah. 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 Treated yellows that look lavender. So that get goes from Kayla. It was her birthday yesterday, so happy birthday, Kayla! Hey. Hey. Happy birthday, Kayla! And she's so, also a huge phantom lover. Oh, you'd met her. Mm-hmm. from you guys. <laughs> <laughs> she got a saber tooth animal. Yes. Oh, so that's, that's our. Did you just say? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, boomerang. the boomerang. That was the boomerang when I called it boomerang. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. So you're seeing some of your saber tooth, uh, your tigers are, some are phantom, some are not, right? Correct. And you could tell because it's uh, what what makes it, I, I guess um, it would be better if we saw a picture of it. But yeah, a lot of it is going to be like darkening in the door. Some, for some reason, they'll yeah. be pretty orange when they're young. Yeah. So the color change is pretty significant. And like, the stripes look more black they're like very yeah, they're pretty dark. darker they're darker this so we have a yellow base version a black base version and then a phantom of each of those okay that we can... yeah gotcha gotcha uh starry night geckos red phantom super red phantom <laughs> a very <laughs> cherry bomb cherry bomb cherry bomb cherry bomb I think it's cherry bombs please yeah no <laughs> Um, eyelash exotics Lynn. She gave us these animals. Is that a, is that a pairing or is that I is there another have, gecko below? I should have. I should have asked. Okay, just this one. I didn't say any about on the oh. I'm gonna say no on both. That's what I would say too. Um, what and explain, you know, explain your answers and why. Uh, cream of the dorsum. Have you seen all the reds that we've passed up so far? They, they got red and gold. That much cream. Yep. Mm, the cream and or yellow. Yep. That flame, that flame pattern type. Yeah. I'm back. Yep. Okay, cool. And then we have from um, from Ashley Crypto. She she said a few animals, but um what is phantom? what um yeah, like phantom. Red phantom. Yeah, it's being Phantom with pinning, obviously, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the other thing that kind of throws people off, and people say it's 
what is it linked they say it's a pin oh yeah yeah like back in the day when everything pretty much it was phantom pinstripes or people didn't recognize or people didn't recognize it as phantom unless it was a pinstripe yeah right yeah and now what's the new one is um it's a progression of harley or something like that or a super version of yellow i think i've heard as well that's what that's what i thought for a long time because it was only coming it was only coming out of my yellow stuff so i'm like is this like super yellow (laughs) yeah super yellow very dark (laughs) super duper yeah (laughs) okay all phantoms red phantoms 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 phantoms. i got submitted looks like less severe I would say not a phantom. Not a phantom. Like phantom no. Is it a lily? What is this going tell. on? I think it's a lily. It's a lily because it's a little. You see a little bit right here, right? Yeah, it could be a quad. It could be a quad, but but then you can see looking at the back legs, I'd say yeah. probably a lily. Yeah, right here. Mm-hmm. Not a phantom, yeah. Yeah, no. Okay, because it the the it doesn't match in terms of its base color and the it uh, has it has a cream. Yeah, back. It could also just be a really low expression lily. I think like if like you get to like a high expression phantom and a low expression lily, and you compare the two, it's probably still hurt. Right? Uh, yeah. Phantom, phantom lily or not phantom? Man, I can't see the well, but it looks like phantom. a phantom. I think it's not a phantom. I mean, I see enough cream up to there that it would tell me it's not. Yeah, we need a better shot of the top one. Huh? Right. Coming through it. Yeah. I think so. It's hard to tell. Yeah, if there's cream. Undetermined. There. Undetermined? I would say not. But... Need more information. <laughs> <laughs> need a better shot. Um, These ones are, this is our, a different animal, I think. Yeah, these are different. I think they're all the too. Because it's what throws it off the most. Yeah. yeah. I'd say that's okay. not, so not these... a phantom. So these next ones are the same animal, these next four right here. So they're all the same. Animal. You're saying that's not a phantom, but it's no. a lily. This one's a lily. Go. Oh, I do see some of it on the dorsal. Yeah, I'd say that's good. Yeah. 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 In the fan in the phantom lilies that I've seen, it looks yellow. In the Phantom lilies that I've seen, you won't see that complete of mm. cream. You won't cream see that complete that. of cream like, pattern like, that high. More phantom like. Yeah, I think there's lighting. I mean, I would I would imagine that the dorsal would be a little darker. Mm. But or at this point, you see like, more like pitting, mm-hmm. more holes, more of the phantom fighting through. Yeah, I would yeah, say that's that's, that's not a phantom. Not that, yeah. Gotcha. But I can see how it can throw people for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's a confusing one for sure. Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah. That's good. Um, this one's from Andy. Andrea Diamond. Interesting Phantom. animal. Phantom. Phantom. Yeah, Interesting. And then this one I don't have uh I forgot. Sorry. Sorry for whoever said that. It's a pretty it. animal. It's not a phantom. It's, it's, pretty it's really cool. pretty though. <clears throat> Super stripe. I don't know if it's a phantom. Anthony, Anthony, what do you see? It probably, probably isn't a phantom, but it's really weird looking. It's got something going on, that's for sure. I think it's a red. I think it's a red hat super stripe animal. But what like, what what makes it uh, not a phantom, AJ? Your, your thoughts. I mean, it's second. It's secondary color that I don't know if it's yellow or orange because I'm colorblind, but it's it's flame pattern on the other sides of the stripe down the back. Yeah, the color that is on the inside of the pinstripe lines that shouldn't be there in a phantom animal. Mm. Yeah, Anthony, Jess, you're it's kind of similar. Yeah. Breed it out, but perfect. I I mean, it doesn't look like a phantom. Most likely, is it? But I can see all the characteristics where people would say mm. it is a phantom. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. that. Red like, that has a lot of melanin. Like the it has a red coloring. 
Yeah, that's a like tricky. The- it's a tricky one because it has like, it has very little tiger, and it is very low pattern. Yeah, yeah. It's but- one of those things where it's like, um, if Phantom was there and it was that low pattern, the animal we would be almost wiped out. Yeah, yeah. That'd be like almost a patternless animal. Empty back and super striped stuff has quanning, but that one has like just yeah, it's all broken, slime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was the next one. I wouldn't know. Cool animal. I like that animal. This one I would not not be able to tell. Um, This one, not a phantom. Not a phantom. Yeah. A lot of cream on the back. Also a cool animal, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about this one? I can tell. It's too phantom. (laughs) I'd say it's a phantom, but. Like a lucid animal. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm one of those. Wonderful. That's kind of cool. This one, I can't really see the back too much. What do you guys think? But you can look at the head. The head tells you everything you need to know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is, look, at the, look, at the, look at the head versus the body color. But something's yeah, happening. Yeah, what breaks it's through, though? What about the color that breaks through right here? doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not about what breaks through at the stripe there. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. It's not a fan. I don't know. It's so hard. I, I I was saying the other day when we were talking about this, I'm like, I can look at like 99% of animals and tell you it's, it is or isn't, but it's really hard to say why. Always. <laughs> That's you too know, confusing. Like, That's- I know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not advocating for it. Yeah. 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 I'm not advocating for it, but it's just like when you've looked at enough animals and hatched enough animals, it's like, <clears throat> You got to deconstruct and reverse engineer that. I know. I know. That's why we started with descriptions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, thoughts, on, thoughts on this one, on this lily? The same. I don't think it's a phantom. It's just okay. low expression lily and got something funky yeah. going on. We got one that's very similar. Mm, okay. Um, this one. This one's the last one in the series. And then we can... I, know. I, know. I, know. I, know. I like it. Phantom. Black one. Phantom. Phantom of the Opera. Right, it's like cool. a, a red strawberry blonde hyper tangerine or something crazy. <laughs> All right, Anthony, I want to see the weird ones that you brought to try to stump us. Oh, yeah. There were some of those. I, know, I have a few more from um, Discord, but yeah, we'll look at yours first, Anthony. While he's pulling them up. What else? Aren't that full ready? <laughs> Ooh, I love. Oops. Stop screen. <laughs> Can you see this one? Yeah, hold on. Let me yeah. yes, go. There you go. All right, Harry, what is it? Tell us what genes are present. <laughs> this 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 is where I get confused. This one's uh this one's a phantom. Oh it's yeah, nailed it. What else is going on? There's a there's pin striping. There's quite okay. right thing going on. Okay. <laughs> what else? It's yellow. Yeah. Uh, do, you see, do you see super stripe? No. The, is there every? Why? Where? How? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see my at all? No. Uh-huh. Right. What if I do this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can see that. Oh, <laughs> cool. So it's hard. So yeah. would you say... Would you say this animal, the 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 flecking and the tiger is what's kind of distorting the stripe, or would you say it's a hetero, heterozygous super stripe, homozygous empty back? That's what I would say it is. It's a het super stripe for sure, but um, a homozygous. So you see, so it's because you see a bit of yeah. the the stripe kind of breaking through where the pins are on the inside. It's just that the stripe's so solid there in the uh, area. Okay, okay. But it's a prescribed description that comes through. But it's yeah. not then, dumping. It's not dumping out the full center because it's probably one copy. Yep. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, and then it's a yellow base. So if you've seen the difference between super stripe and empty back yellow bases, they do totally different things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you get a mixture in between here and the yeah. middle. Because on the super stripe animals, the the stripe is not the base color of the animal. We're an empty back animals. 
you'll see the base color of the animal revealed versus like I have a yellow super stripe that has a brown stripe down its back where it doesn't yeah. have that color anywhere else on its body. Uh, okay. Let's see. Where's the sim? Yeah. Oh, that's helpful. But I have a super empty back yellow where this <laughs> negative space in the center is the yeah. base color of the animal, which is yellow. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Here's her. Here's the, the female the that produced that animal as well. Yeah. She's a little bit more obvious, right? Yeah. yeah. Mustard. She's mustard. mustard. She's one of my favorite yellows, to be honest. Yeah, her color is really cool. This is a sibling. There's another sibling. Yep. There you go. There's Super Stripe. Empty back. And yeah. you've got obviously Phantom in yeah. this one. You see that dark Phantom. around the neck? Yeah, so that's like that margin at play in an yep. animal that is not a lily. So that, so that... Whatever, whatever, it, whatever we're going to refer to that. How are you going to categorize that? Are you going to call it margin? What are you going to call it? I mean, I guess, a, I guess AC would have to uh, request information in the guide. Uh, but I guess how is that going to be described in the future? Um, TBD. I don't know. To be determined depends. Okay. If anybody wants to work with us on it, then yeah, we'll happily like come to a consensus in the community with what people I call it. But yeah, I feel like you guys have enough that you could just the, you the could dark. Call um, the dark by the neck gives it a way that it's a, a phantom as well. Besides the empty back aspect of it, yeah, it's okay. trying to make a unicolor animal. So yeah, this one is a black base. Obviously, you can see the okay. cusp of the arm yeah. right here. Is dark in this area, and then yeah. it matches. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Are you got sure it. that thing's dark base? Did it come out double dark base? Double dark base. What's the double dark base? Did you, both both parents are dark? I think it's a yellow. This yellow one is actually not orange. really dark. All that orange yeah. went away. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe just because it's young. There's a sibling that's a yellow base. Yeah. So one of the parents is yellow. One of the parents is yellow, yeah. Okay. Which is the female that I just showed you. Uh, okay. The mustard. Okay. Got it. So there's a super stripe empty back because the the in the middle it's the different base color. Yeah. 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 It's not it's not matching the base color. Yeah. That's yeah. Not, yeah. And you see the cream is coming through significantly stronger here mm -hmm. in this area. So, yeah. And that's not a phantom there. That is not a phantom. Correct. And then that region, there's no dark pigment. Yeah. These so, I think are obvious, right? Phantom. That's um because it's the neck is dark, and also yeah, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't get cool. too I wouldn't get too hung up on the neck though, Harry. Okay. It's not yeah. always not, not always a perfect marker. It's not like it's like the Y on the cap. Oh, like okay. on the base tail base of the tails of cap. Some of them have it. Some of them don't. Because okay. look at this one. Did this one have a dark neck? No, no. no. Yeah, that's a phantom though. That is a phantom. Yeah. Yeah. This animal is actually interesting. Um. This was yeah, neat thing to like throw everything at like the kitchen sink at the sale. There's a lot going on. Yeah, there was, there was a lot of jeans here. I have to literally bring them out for make sure everything that I wanted in there is in there. But he looks, when he fires down, he has like gray and pink. Yeah, this is him. Oh. Fire down. Fire down. Yeah. Now you can see it's like much more unicolor, right? Yeah, much yeah, much easier to tell. Midway fire. This is him midway fire. Yeah. But I mean things like I this. I feel like were... that that animal would throw some people because the, the back has the appearance of being it's cream. Cream, even yeah. though But so go back to the first yeah. picture and how how do you how do you guys tell so immediately that it's a phantom? Go back to the initial one that you showed. Yeah, see. yeah, that one. This one. Like, how'd you how'd you be able to tell so quickly that that's a phantom? I think the green and the kneecaps. The unicolor look of it, but the cream to, I mean, the back should be way more um, cream color, cream. especially because yeah. I'm looking at the siblings as well. I mean, I, it's a lot easier when you're hatching them out, and then you get half you phantom, half phantoms. Yeah, yeah, and become much easier to tell. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that's why it's so obvious to me because over the years I had my yellow pinstripe line and I was getting 50% phantoms out of them. 
Um, so I was, I was, I was hurt, you know, between 25 and 50%, depending on the pairing. And then some of my bloodbath stuff, I was getting the same thing. So I was seeing phantom and non-phantom come out of the same pairs all the time. Yeah, yeah. So you can tell clicker. Yeah, I might have helped. I want to go about this guy in vanilla. No. Not right. anything. I can't tell. <laughs> I don't say that's a phantom, but I don't, I don't know. But it does fit the description of unicolor. color. Yeah, it does. But I also think that photo is slightly overexposed. Uh, it's just like, no. <laughs> well, it looks a little bright. <laughs> it is a little bright, maybe going through, but yeah, you, you can maybe, it's it. just maybe it's just maybe it's just reflection. So this one, so it's not fired up. It is fired up here. Oh, it's fired up. So the, it's Dang. when he's fired down, he's like moon glow. <laughs> he's really pale. <laughs> and then you can see more of his pattern on his laterals too. Yeah, yeah. is he older? This was when he was a young girl. Maybe just I mean, a couple years. Down. Yeah, I think this photo he's like two or three. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't tell that one. I wouldn't be able to tell. It, it yeah. looks fattened to me. Let's see. What else do we got? Stump us. Give us some stumpers. Stump jumpers. Oh, uh, I have a few from Discord that I want to, since people threw other pictures up there. I would say Phantom. Yep. All right. Let's try this one. It looks unicolor. Oh. I'll let Harry answer first. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> this, I don't know because it's different. The, the uh, dorsum color is creamy. Okay, so what would you say just by their previous definitions? That it's not your perfect. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. But also, but also, it looks like the other animal that you showed me at first that I thought was awesome. You know that you guys could pick up that was phantom. So yeah, I, I would say I would say it's low expression cream non phantom. Yep. Expression cream not phantom. What, what was the giveaway? Is it the head? The amount of cream on it? That's yeah, just the variance in color between body and, and dorsal to me is enough. Yeah. But it, it's not it's not as clearly obvious. It's a little it's confusing because the base color of the animal is so similar. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately to the back where you get yeah. that blend, to that <laughs> blend, but it's still far enough apart where it's like, mm. yeah, that it isn't. Okay. okay. Yeah, it looks the same too. The, the, throw up the other, yeah, the original, the first one. That one, all right. That one, so let me try a different one. Then. It's right. side by side. Oh, this one, this one looks, this one looks phantom. Yeah. Harry, you're getting, you're getting better. <laughs> you're killing it. I, re I represent the people that don't know a phantom are, so <laughs> you're doing great. How about this? That one looks that oh uh, well because I look at the underneath color. So the underneath color? You know, like on the on the on the door. What co what color is the head and what color is the body? The base is a darkish, but then it's unfired, right? The this head the head has yellow on it, but it also has the base color. Hues of the base color. Does it have enough of the base color though? It looks more yellow. It has to be predominantly the base mm. color. So so the, more yellow than it is the base color. Yes. So it's not a fat tone? Yes. Right. Mm. Okay. But it is a head empty back. So mm -hmm. the clear is But then yeah. you can't, and you can't look you can't look at the space like near the back legs. Yeah. I yeah, typically yeah. when I'm look when I'm looking at these animals, I'm almost there. always looking at like the head uh, like the middle of the body. Okay. So don't look at the back because the empty back kind of throws it off then. Yeah, on head yeah. empties for sure. Okay. This one looks phantom. Yeah. And you can see the head difference now, right? Like Yeah. It's very it's similar. Far near identical. When you're when you're looking at the two colors and like, man, it's so close. Then it's, it's probably phantom. it's probably a phantom. If okay. it's like if you're really, really bad. Yeah, that's helpful. So you're only looking at the head primarily the head area and the the upper half neck area. I mean, I mean, all, to be fair to that one that was really difficult earlier. Yeah, I'll help. See, this is what it looked like as a hatch. 
I mean, it's significantly <laughs> easier at that point too, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. So I'm cheating a little bit, but I'm trying to show animals that are difficult once they yeah. it's good. grow out. Well, when we posted that photo, someone said, fried chicken. Yeah. I'll never forget that. Fried chicken. Ever, we were talking about, AJ. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Mm. Where I think people usually look at tigers and say they're phantom. Yeah. But then there's things like triple X's that are definitely tiger and not phantom. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Those are really hard. Full, full screen that one. I got to see. That, full that one's very unicolor looking, so it looks like a phantom. Yeah, I would agree. Cheetah. This is basically him fire. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, well, let's see. So we got. Yeah. I think this one stops people sometimes. It's a phantom. Yeah, but I don't a hundred percent know why he stops people. Do you guys have? I think. Sign up? I think it's it's the variance of tone. You know the 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 hue of color. Between mm -hmm. the doors, because, okay, so looking at the side of the animal, the, yeah. the color on the back of the animal is present. It is there, but there's quite a, there's quite a variance of color. Okay. I, I don't always know. Throws people. That's why. Yeah. That's a cool animal though. What's it? Is that fired up, fired down? That's him fired up. Okay. What's it look like fired down? I was down? Was a kid. It was going to Let's see, what do you look like? Or AG. This was him younger. This was years wow. ago, though. But when he was smaller, this is all not, time, yeah. like, fully fired. Was, is he old, how old is he in that photo you originally showed? Like 10. Yeah, they can, can, yeah. They, can, yeah just, they can change quite a bit. When they get older like that, they can look weird. Like, I've seen yeah. some, I've seen some, like, 10 plus year old animals where you're like, is this a new gene? And it's just, <laughs> it's just, so it's just age. Makes so them look at yeah. range. Yeah. I mean, he also turned this when he was like three years old, and then it's when you know all the color was cut and basically gone. So dang. This that's is a from that's AC. A monochrome. This um, is from monochrome. AC. From Actually, uh, 2006. I was told that he was a monochrome. Yeah. I mean, that that's exactly that. what the one that uh Gecko Gen had at his table looked like. Look just Well, no, that's who told me it was monochrome. <laughs> yeah, I mean when we were when we were at Anaheim, he had one in a in a Display looked just like it. Let's see. I think that's all I got. I mean, these are all pretty obvious, I think, by now. Yeah. After going through the sun. Phantom. 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 No phantom. Um, want to do the dark this one? Yeah, Phantom. Do the Discord ones, Harry. Yeah, let's switch we'll over. Ones. We'll do yeah. Discord and then we'll wrap it up. I think we're we might be phantomed out. Yeah. <laughs> This is awful. No, I love it. I love it because it's I uh, 300 of them. He can, he's phantomed all day, doll. <laughs> I'm all phantomed out. Oh, there's people on Discord right now chatting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got Alex and Pino, White Tank, Chad, oh, yeah. Don, Ralph, and Sly on there. It's nice. funny. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so phantoms, phantom, yeah. phantom, phantom. Phantom. Yeah. Phantom. Uh, Phantom. 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 <laughs> Morse put a Phantom of that math in there. Uh, Phantom. This Phantom. Phantom, Phantom, Phantom. Um, okay. All Phantoms so far. Phantoms, Phantoms. Any non Phantoms? Maybe people were embarrassed to put like things they weren't sure of and they're like. Oh, wait. Here we go. Oh, we got there, some... There's some non Phantoms in there. Oh, wait, in here? Go to the Dallas. Dallas at DNA. Oh, no. Okay. Not a phantom. Not a phantom. Not a phantom, but cool. It looks right, to now. be looks to be at least <clears throat> at E B. Yeah. The head is what throws a lot of people off too. Like, yeah, the head. You know what I mean? Because the head does the head does match the body, but that animal also looks older too. Hmm. I mean, you get I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go as close. Wait a little bit. It's got the turkey. Yeah, it's got, and, and I don't know. Just like the the. I don't know the crest. It's a little like, discolored. Yeah, I don't know. It looks. It looks a little older. I'd be interested to know how old it is. All right, give me the next one. 
No. No. Not, not a phantom. phantom. Also not a phantom. No. Lame. If that was a phantom, it'd be almost unicolor. color. Mm. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be something that you would pick to make like really, really dark black phantoms kind of thing. Because yeah. phantom really, really affects orange color heavily. Nope, same I'm nonsense. Really to point that out. All right, let's see what else we got. Here we go. Harry? No. Not Phantom. Yep. Because the head and the body's pretty discolored in terms of the... Yeah. Not a Phantom. This right, one, here we Phantom. go. Phantom, uh, is that a Zach Exactic? No, I Phantom think it's either a Lily or a Frap. Yeah. I can't tell. Phantom, though. Whoops. Phantom. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Billy Phantom. I like one? it. Phantom. Phantom. Yep. The more you look, the easier it gets. <laughs> what is that? Head and are matching his body. That's huh? But what is there in the back? What colors do you see? Do you see cream? Yeah. Is that should a lily? That, should that be there? It's not a lily. Get it, get it. So it's not a fed, though. <laughs> so you, you can't just focus on one area. You gotta look at the you know, I just wouldn't you can't just can't just compare the head and the body color. Yeah, before yeah, it, yeah. like oh just look primarily at the head. I'm like, oh yeah, it looks similar. Well, yeah. I said head through like midway down the body, and if you count that, <laughs> there's white in between those two places. Which there really shouldn't be like cream pattern. I'm not counting yeah, pinstripe scales. Well, would be a little bit modified if it wasn't Ooh. Lily. Right? Don't cut it. Yeah, so it doesn't tell you much. You can get those the less far. Yeah, pinstripe scale, I'm not counting because you can see animals like the red rock animal that yeah. I'd say is a phantom. But yeah, it has so pinstripe so scales so that are white. white. Yeah, the white down here. Yeah. Okay. Not a phantom sly. Cool animal, though. This one's phantom. Yep. That's uh, yep. Any non phantoms that we poke out? How about this one? Click that one on the right. That one's not the same, I think, right? That's not a phantom. Not a phantom. We're all banning woods. Yeah. So funny how a bunch of these are like, how old is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're faded out, you know? <laughs> What's oh. that one? It looks different. The coloring is different. It's pretty. Coloring is different, so it's not a fat zone. What's the what's different? The head color and the body color. Is it close enough? Is it cream? I mean, the color is off enough for it to be. With different. that kind of patterning, would you expect that color on patterning? You see the patterning that's in the, in the dorsum? Mm-hmm. Only what would you expect that color to look like? I don't know. <laughs> like, should green it be, like, or... white, white or cream? You've only got two choices, white pattern or orange pattern. Hmm. To default to, at least. Well, now the audio sounds different. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at too many different things. He's got phantom fatigue. Yeah. Head, the head, now I'm looking at the head color and it's different than the body color. <laughs> so there's too many factors to test that. It's not different enough. I think it's a phantom. It's a phantom. It's break. It's like doing homework and your brain starts hurting. Oh you need to go take a break. Fresh yeah. air. He's got phantom fatigue. See, look, it looks different enough to me, though. No. <laughs> I mean, normally look at the tail, how how wide it is. The head should be even wider. So should that pattern. I mean, have you ever seen like a reddish gray pattern patterning on an ammo that, that is, you know, for sure it's not phantom? Mm. I need to look at more. I need to look, watch more tape. I, yeah. And then what would you call the secondary color on there <laughs> if it was a phantom? I don't know. You guys got to tell me. You guys, <laughs> just give me the answers. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> There isn't there isn't really a secondary color other than the the white pattern. I guess if you call yeah. the the port holing secondary pattern. Cream. 
technically no, white. I don't think it's crazy once you look at the offspring when they hatch out. Yeah, see that's white. not a phantom. This was not a phantom. Nope. Nope. Katie knows stuff. Okay. Yep. But it is hot. Parents are, parents are, this one's phantom at least. All right. Okay. A few more? Yeah. Do Katie's. All right. Do whichever um, ones you think are, are hard to tell, Harry. Yeah, you guys tell me what these things are. I'm phantomed out. That's not a phantom. <laughs> not a phantom. That one's hard for me to tell. I don't know for sure. I would have to breathe that for sure. Tail markers are pretty dark on the head. I would say it's not a phantom. The head is different enough than the body color. That's it an empty be back. Be that's a su- really that's little a little super back. empty. So I'd say that's super empty, non phantom. But could be, yeah, because super empty and empty back just ruin the identification. With that's the yellow. But look at the head. The head is orange versus the body color. Sure. I mean, I All thought right. it was different, though. <laughs> Is different. <laughs> um, no, okay, not different well, enough. Oh, you skipped. You skipped Bryce's. Oh, sorry. Here we go, Bryce. Not a phantom. Sorry, Bryce. Really a lot too. <laughs> That's cool too. There's. So, it's so crazy how almost everyone that is like tricky is all the ones that have been sent as tricky are empty back animals. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Either empty back or head empty back, right? Yeah. Okay. But off. Yeah. Yeah. True. That, that's a phantom. Tired very much. This one we could tell is a phantom, but this one, yeah, this was not not a phantom. Yep. Those look to all be phantoms in that pad. Phantom. Really phantom. Nice. Phantom, phantom. Slide phantom. phantom. Super red phantom. Not phantom. Not a phantom. Everybody's going to have to drink when they hear the word phantom in this episode. <laughs> if they've made it this far, they're dead. <laughs> What's that, though? What's a phantom? What's that? Uh, not a phantom. Nope. Nope. I, I think Harry's got it. Only only like 70%. <laughs> I miss it. Hey, it's better than 0%. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Andrew's like, hey, it's not a... It's not that time. I was like, save it. Save it for that stuff. <laughs> that was it. For the submissions. Cool. Is that all of them? Damn. That's good. That's There's good. a lot of animals, though. That's good. <laughs> so what's next? How we got to we yeah. gotta do empty back. Empty back or not empty back. Dude, we could do so many. Okay. Back, head empty back. Super yeah. tribe. Head super <laughs> Oh yeah, I'd yeah, be no, down. No. That'd be fun. Yeah. We, should do, we should do like one. Uh, do like one yeah. one a month. Yeah. 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 Cap or sable? <laughs> Cap or sable? Cap that would sable. be tricky. That would be really hard. Yeah. That would be a great one. I like that. Just throw some like hard hard to tell. Caps in there. You could do um frap or uh, frap, frap lily. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Frap or not? Frap or not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crap, <laughs> crap or not, we're gonna disappoint a lot of people though. Oh, <laughs> I'll be touchy. A lot of people got all these people crap. are gonna be like, I paid five grand for this frap and it's a lean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, not, I think I'd be a lean fifty percent on some of those sometimes. <laughs> yeah, really hard. yeah, but it's sometimes we see crap, we see fraps, and then uh, we send it to each other like, oh, that's not a frap. Don't we can't tell them what that is not a frap. Yeah, we'll see somebody <laughs> post like got this new frap in, and we're like, that's not a frap. That's not a frap. Never <laughs> <laughs> stories or any, but at least people get them replaced. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. We send them to Don. Done. <laughs> that's funny. Well, thank you guys. This was fun. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, do, yeah. we'll do more of these. We'll have uh, another round of these maybe next month or so. And, uh, yeah. Keep- Drop in the comments what genes you're confused by, and we'll do more. You can make me feel yeah. dumb as we go too. <laughs> we'll do super. We'll do super stripe, super stripe, and empty back complex, and really stump hair. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Things that keeps all the things that are stacked together are just confusing. So it'll be helpful. Oh, uh, you know, what we should do at some point. We should just do like send your like most stacked animals, and we'll try to like deconstruct them. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That'd be fun. We could do that. I have a couple of that in my own collection. It's not the breakdown <laughs> episode. You just break down. Yeah, we, we break. Oh, just gecko breakdown. Oh, we should just do episodes of that. That'd be there. Cool. We go. Oh, okay. yeah, send, us, send us five of your craziest animals that are super stacked, and then we have to parse everything out and figure it out. Yeah, yeah that'd be, be fun. Good. We'll, yeah. one. we'll theorize out what we think's going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah it'll be good. We'll have more of these coming up. So cool. ask yeah. it on the Discord. Yeah. Let's make them. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so, sorry, I missed that. Jess, what'd you say? I said, ask it on the Discord. See what oh, yeah. people want to Yeah. yeah. They'll yeah. send us some good ones. Give us some mm-hmm. feedback. Yeah. Yeah. So, cool. All right, Anthony and Jess, we appreciate you guys as always. Um, we thank you, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Cool. Bye. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye.